Welcome to Old Boardy Mountain Hot Sauce Grotto's Tasting Notes, where every Wednesday evening at 5 o'clock, we talk about great hot sauces from around the world. I'm Jeff. And I'm Shade. We're with Old Boardy Mountain Foundation for Kids, where we're investing in the future of local youth who are striving to overcome hardships and become inspired adults. So we are here for our cause, and we're here for the hot sauce community. And stay tuned. Uh, at the end of the episode, we're going to find out how you can be a part of Tasting Notes. Yeah. So, and if you are new here, this is season three. Season three, the episode welcome. one. And in homage of episode one, I'm sporting the uh, People's Choice World's Favorite Hot Sauce t-shirt and hat. From, Ad Max from, from the Notorious. From the 2024, 2024 Old Bunny Mountain Hot Summer Night hot International Night Hot Sauce Competition. Event. <laughs> so, and I guess we can just tell you before we get to the end that if you want your hot sauce on tasting notes in the grab bag doesn't mean we're going to grab it but potentially grabbed uh all you have to do is enter old bony mountain hot summer night entry start january 1st 2025 for the 2025 season yes and if you're not familiar with what old bony mountain hot summer night international hot sauce competition is it is the largest hot sauce competition for charity and we are international so in the world yes in the world so that's what we do we support old bunny mountain foundation for kids and that's what it's all about so here we do <laughs> why are we here <laughs> why are we here that's a good question we are here to support the cause <laughs> and to grab out of the grab bag <laughs> yes i want to explain the grab bag to everybody okay. and that way we yeah, can yeah we'll do it this is about the third one yes the grab bag we fill up every week with sauces from around the world that we're in the competition in 2025, mm -hmm. 2024. So we're not really sure what we're grabbing. We just it's load up whatever's just there. Just load it up, mm -hmm. pull it out. If you're in the competition last year, this year, then you could get pulled out. Yep. So, Donna, you can do the honors and pull it out. Four sauces is what we go over. We review four sauces from the competition. And it's Number really, oh, go, ahead. go ahead. I got excited and jumped the gun. Well, before we do, <laughs> um, we don't get to see the sauces when we do our blind judging during the year. So this is our first opportunity to see the sauces that we did in the competition and judging. And we get to taste them and match up kind of the taste to the name. Yeah. So everything up until this point, we've tasted all these sauces while we've judged, but it's been blind. And then the only thing that we see is at the end after we've rated everything we'll kind of go back through our scores and kind of try to check and see who the sauces were yeah, yeah. And, but otherwise we have not put the face to the name and so this is where we get to do that so that kind of part is great because we get to taste sauces and without knowing the company this part is great because we get to taste the top to the, 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 the sauces <laughs> and get to see the company yes so the first one that we're going to enjoy is from I believe Villain. yes, Villain. I was gonna say yeah, the Midas touch. The Midas touch. I do recognize this. Um, Villain has been a supporter of the competition for a few years now. So yeah. Midas touch. There's Midas touch number one there. First grab out of the grab bag. Number two, we've got Buffalo hot sauce from Singularity Sauce Co. Awesome. <laughs> from Scotland, and not only that, but. I recognize this Buffalo hot sauce because it was the first place winner in the Buffalo wing division. Nice. Darn that strong. Awesome. Number three, we've got the Furious Sauces Volcano Sunrise. Oh, we're doing good today. Yeah. Furious makes a bunch of sauces and they're really good sauces. All right. I'm going to dig one more. One. Here we go. I was trying to see if I could feel a unique bottle. Okay. Here, but didn't happen all right barbara mojo oh. el habanero well this is this a, one is the cuban sauce yeah cuban sauce because they took the cuban division at least two out of the three they spots did. and if i remember correctly they're the first sauce company to enter a cuban style hot sauce too just in mm -hmm. the past mm -hmm. they kind of launched that yeah. that category that division yeah. yeah so this is a great one so now we got to figure out what order of heat they're going to be in without knowing and or reading yeah so we don't look at the back of the labels we just try to guess by the front of the label what the heat is going to be if you've watched previous episodes you'll kind of see that every once in a while we agree <laughs> <laughs> let's see I, you want to go for it and make it your guess mm, sure okay i'm gonna say i'm gonna go cuban 
buffalo volcano villain. All right. Good enough for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know in past episodes, we put these up closer to the camera so you can see the label. We're going to hold them up, but we got a new camera this yes. year. So I, th I think they're going to be clear yeah, and so everything's going to be Let us know clear. what you think of that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. So, and let me get the cups. Tasting cups so we can watch the pour. So one of the other cool things that we do on this is that it somewhat reflects the way that we judge in the competition. It's obviously not blind while we're sitting here, but we do kind of that texture, um, the consistency of the sauce, we smell, we taste, we gauge the use of heat. And those are the um, judging criteria that we use for the hot sauce competition. So you can see kind of the consistency a little bit. I'll hold it up for you too. Okay, that's uh, El Habanero from Barbero Mojo. And um, maybe Shonda, you can read the label. Uh, do you want me to read the label or the ingredients or both? Oh, the ingredients, okay. right, whatever. So I'll show the ingredients so in this one. Closer. Yeah, sometimes I'll kind of peruse the label on the back. I always go through ingredients. So this one, we've got tomatoes, habanero peppers, sweet onion, distilled vinegar, red bell pepper, mojo creole, which is uh, water, salt, orange juice, lemon juice, garlic, onion, spices, and then garlic, salt, and more spices. Actually, Sounds good. if we... Go for consistency. You should probably pour them all out. Do 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 it one at a time, or I think we've always done it one at a time. But I'm up for whatever. <laughs> I think we I think we went like and poured them. Remember, because they were up there. Yeah, we didn't review the last couple of seasons. <laughs> so, anyways, I'll I'll hold these up. I'll pour them out right now, and we'll hold them up uh, together, and then oh. that way. All right. So I'll go ahead and I'll read the buffalo style sauce two ingredients. Well, let's just do it one at a time. Okay. <laughs> We're getting our act together yeah, is what it's, it's called. Been a, it's been a minute. <laughs> uh, all right, there's that one. And then Midas Touch. I know you already shook it. Doesn't hurt. All right. Consistency in the pour. Okay. Here we go. Okay, we'll start from the first one. And Shonda will read the ingredients. I'll just hold this up real quick so you can see it a little bit better. And then we'll go for it. Now we're going to start. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This Here one's going to be a long episode <laughs> okay. as we try to get our act together. So, <clears throat> Barbera Mojo, we've got, again, <laughs> tomatoes, habanero, sweet onion, distilled vinegar, red bell pepper, Mojo Creole, uh, Creole which is water, salt, orange juice, Lemon juice, garlic, onions, spices, and then garlic, salt, spices. Wow. Yeah. Sounds like that's a, that one. Sounds like a Florida sauce. <laughs> and where, where are they from? I, I was gonna say I can't remember. You're usually better at that than I am. Total guess. Can you see it anywhere? This is how I was uh, asking my eye doctor if I need readers now. Um, Miami. Oh, there you go. That's what that was clicking in my mind now. <laughs> All right. Um, All right. So let's uh, let's taste, mm -hmm. smell, and taste. Okay, sounds good. We got spoons and we got chips. Chips. So just chips, sometimes, little scooper chips. Sometimes we bring food in. Sometimes we're not hungry anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm gonna put it on the chip since it's cool looking. Yeah, it's definitely like a kind of chunkier sauce. Yeah, the consistency is is. Uh, uh liquidy with chunks and you can see the ingredients i like that kind of thing where you know you know it's handmade mm -hmm. you know definitely get like that tomato garlic a little bit of the citrus yeah yeah, yeah. these guys are good mm -hmm. they got i think they had four sauces this last competition mm. Mm. <laughs> spicier than what i thought mm -hmm. I don't remember it being that hot. Well, I like we it. I didn't really know. I like it. <laughs> I think they did get first and third in the Cuban category this last, yeah. last oh, year. That is like punch with freshness, lots of flavor, heat right right out the gate. Yeah, I think it's it's probably a hot sauce. Yeah. A hot versus mild, medium. 
hot, extra hot. Yeah. I think it's a hot. I think it's a Cuban sauce. <laughs> it is. <You're laughs> In right. case you wanted to enter again. Um, no, well, that's that's delicious. Who knows what, what the a... categories are going to be this year because yeah. we're not going to probably do the, the array of categories we had last year. That is phenomenal. I'm in great start for. So what would you put it one. on? Oh my god! I'm, I'm, you know, obviously, tacos, you know, burritos, that kind of stuff. Yeah. I um, mean, no question about it. Well, it would be fantastic with that. Here's my thing. When when you say that it's a Cuban sauce, I feel like a lot of Cuban food you're going for like pork, beans, rice plantains it's all kind of more of that like subtle savory um or sweet so this i would douse all over anything yeah um cuban for sure and that would just spike up the flavor um strangely well, i thought pizza right like right away uh, absolutely I, I don't know if it was the tomato or what well i think you know one of the things that sauce does for me is it, it hits you with a, a spicy punch mm -hmm. you know really just kind of and then it's savory to boot mm -hmm. and so um this is going to go on stuff like macaroni and cheese oh yeah that would cut um, through that like you know because you don't want just macaroni and cheese you got to have some spice to it now i like the habanero mm -hmm. macaroni and cheese <laughs> with habaneros in it but but as far as the sauce go i think this would be really very good with that yeah i agree um so. also as like a fish uh marinade oh yeah 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 i do that on top of like maybe some kind of white fish or um, I just, I, I'm thinking back to like when I've traveled into the Caribbean area or when we did mm -hmm. Panama and we went out yeah. to the San Blas Islands. I'm like, I would drown like yeah. everything. With yeah, yeah, yeah. So good stuff. Awesome. All right. Next. Number two, Buffalo hot sauce, Singularity Sauce Company. All right. So this one we've got. Well, say where it's from. Look at it. Okay. Read well, it. they are from Scotland, Aberdeen, Scotland. And uh, at first I was. They've been in the competition okay. a couple of years. The guy is a hard worker. He's a sauce maker. He does great videos. Check him out on his website, uh, on Instagram, all that stuff. Yep. Okay. His name's Mark. <laughs> if I remember right. This is all memory. So this, do, I, I want to say, do I memory. need to remember anything when it comes to this? I don't, I feel like you have a stronger memory than I do. And I'm like, I don't know. I know they were in last year. <laughs> so. Okay, ingredients. <clears throat> We've got kombucha, cayenne mash, um, vegan butter. Um, see stuff in, okay, lemon juice, brown sugar, garlic powder, salt, and smoked paprika. Wow. Kombucha. I did not know that that was something that they I, used in I this. actually didn't either. Yeah. Never read the ingredients on yeah, that Yeah, really cool label, too. Um, I said, I'm, I'm telling you, it says right here called buffalo hot sauce <laughs> first place so if you're a wings person this is the one to try i don't care if you gotta get it from scotland i hope he ships to the u.s he may not but if you're in scotland <laughs> this is the wing sauce um consistency wise you can see it's like a nice smooth liquidy sauce not to the point of like a vinegary sauce um but a nice pour on it i think Looking forward to it. Love a good wing sauce. I may have uh, misplaced it sauce. too, though. We'll yeah. see what happens. Got the good aroma. You can get it right off the top what it's going to be. Oh, I love buffalo sauce. <laughs> right there. Got that sour kind mm -hmm. of tart mm -hmm. um, with the wing flavor. The cayenne. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Buffalo, oh, all the way. So good. A little smokiness to it. Little. Mm -hmm. I guess just get that tang. You definitely, tang. you definitely want to put it on your wings. Yeah. Can you just picture sitting there with a, a wing? I I would just be dipping it in there after yeah. I cooked it in. Oh, it. totally. <laughs> um, another little ranch. Another amazing use for buffalo sauce if you've not had it is a buffalo chicken pizza. Mm. There's several ways to do it. Usually, it's like. Mozzarella cheese, chicken, red onion, cilantro. Sometimes people do blue cheese on it, um, but great combination. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Right there. Singularity sauce, Scotland. However, 
Oh, definitely. <laughs> I misordered that one. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So we're talking, yeah. it's a mild it's sauce. It's a mild sauce, yeah. This is a hot sauce. So this could be moving up. Yes, it could be. It's All right. happened we're, we're not sharp like we used to be. <laughs> All right. So sauce number three, Furious Sauces Volcano Sunrise. This one on the front says the mango habanero hot sauce. And they gauge it as kind of a medium heat. So we, we know Furious. Um, we did, I think we did Furious on um, Fresh Batch in one of our first ones. With one of their new, yeah. Uh, with two of them. Yeah. And they were just fantastic. Yeah. I think this one, if I recall, was a high score in um, the competition. So we're going to get really lucky today with all of these sauces because you recognize the name when they win. When they're yeah. in the top 10, when they're finalists, all that stuff. And we had about how many entries last year? Unique sauce? 500. Well, there's 575 entries. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So. But some of them would have been like, some of them put it in fruit and mild yeah, or whatever. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. But so that's what you're up against. So when your name starts to really appear at the top like that, yeah, even, you know, top, top 10, top 20, I mean, that's where you're really seeing some solid, solid hot sauce. Get furious if you don't, <laughs> because then you'll know what wins. <laughs> All right. So this one, uh, so they're in Virginia, um, Broadway, Virginia. Mango marmalade. Um, mm. Sorry, they always put in parentheses like what that means uh -huh. when I try to jump over it. So mango marmalade, water, habanero peppers, apple cider vinegar, diced tomatoes, yellow onions, Brown sugar, salt, lime juice, garlic, turmeric, and sauce uh, spices. All right. Well, they got sauce the turmeric in there. That adds to the color. They got the garlic. They got the habanero. Yeah. So, this sauce is a little bit thicker. I, I'd say that as you pour it, you can tell it has a little bit of that marmalade mm -hmm. kind of, um, like, what's the word? Like that stickiness, you know? Yeah. yeah. Words, these words. It smells mm. amazing. Oh my god! I smell the mango and the spices. Mm -hmm. Definitely get mm. kind of a fruity, mm -hmm. sweet, savory, wow. delicious blend. Wow! Yeah, I think the and then you get like a I think little the puff at the brown end sugar adds to it. Oh yeah. I mean, I've seen a lot of sauces with brown sugar that really kind of pop, and say same for some other ingredients like orange. And things like that, but mm -hmm. this doesn't have orange in it. But this is unique. It's well, unique. And I feel like sometimes a mango, a mango sauce can have a little bit of an off flavor if it's not mixed right. Uh -huh. This one, it's to me, I kind of am getting like a fall vibe from it, which is weird for mango. But I think the spices and the brown sugar and the turmeric in it kind of it just gives you a little bit of that fall feel. Do you mm -hmm. take that? Yes. <laughs> I feel like. The consistency is very nice. It's not too watering. It's not too thick. Um, yeah. It's uh, so. What would you put this sauce on? This is volcano sunrise. Very sweet. I would say, yeah. I would say right here, it's a medium heat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Medium heat. Um, if I have to imagine what to put this on, uh -huh. I'm going to put it on. One pops up is sausages. Oh wow! Um, in the morning. Oh okay. You know, like for like breakfast, breakfast obviously eggs. Okay. Like sausages, because it'll give you that that sweet taste mm -hmm. mixed with the 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 grit of the sausage. You know the yeah yeah the that kind of texture and and uh, it'll stay on it. Um, what else? I uh, was I was gonna say like um, chicken thigh or pork chop. Yes. And now that you mention it, salmon. Okay. Um, yeah. You know, it brings a good heat level to it, medium yeah. heat level. Yeah. It doesn't, like, you get that heat, not over the but top. it doesn't punch you over. You get that yeah. good sweet flavor that you yeah. like sometimes on fish. Yes. So good job, Furious. Oh. Love it. Thank you for entering. <laughs> All right. Last and not least, villain sauce Midas Touch. Villain. We love villain. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I was drinking this at the end of the year. Uh -huh. I, I think if I remember. I think this is a mustardy one. Tasting. I think, I think you're right. Well, okay. So sweet scorpion hot sauce. Scorpion. All right. So they are based out of Canada. Yep. Um. So Brantford, Ontario. Hi. Right. Yeah. Hey. 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 Hey, check this out while we're talking about <laughs> it. 
Speaking of Canada. <laughs> hockey. Hockey books. All right. So ingredients. Well, they have a little a little line at the top in gold writing. Just like King Midas, turn any meal into gold. Give it the Midas touch. Ingredients. It's, it's gold. Sweet potato, Thai chili peppers, apple cider vinegar, white vinegar, water, bell peppers, habanero peppers, shallots, sugars, scorpion peppers, olive oil, garlic, sea salt, curry powder, spices, pure vanilla extract, and cinnamon. No mustard. Ooh, no mustard. I know. I just even kind of go, oh, maybe. <laughs> I, I just have a recollection. You remember? Maybe it's, it's always just, better than mine, so maybe, I, I didn't want to. <laughs> maybe the... Um, the color, but probably, yeah. So it does have kind of. And I always like, kind of wish for a mustard once in a while, you know. Or it has like the Carolina Gold barbecue sauce look, but yeah, this one's a little bit thicker of a sauce. Um, I this is my preferred texture if I wasn't wowed by yeah. any other yeah, texture. Yeah. This would just be like my base go-to. Yeah, we. I mean, we talk about textures on the show once in a while, <laughs> and I think we I flip flop because I really like certain textures for certain foods yeah it makes sense i'm not opposed to any other textures this would just be if you told me what's your perfect ideal mm. Mm. this is good it's a little bit sweet on the nose Brings a little, a little bit of that heat. curry too that's it the cur curry rice mm. fish chicken you know curry oh yeah that's what it like was a lamb curry. that's what i was thinking not mustard oh because i love curry stuff too but this Midas touch is something else. Villain is quite the uh, operation as well. They've got winners. I mean, if you're looking up the the line of the winners that are on the shelves in this room, the studio, there's, uh, there's Witch Doctor. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing. Let's see. All their labels are different. So it's like, <laughs> I'm trying to remember which one. But they just do such a great job of hitting each flavor profile that you want in a sauce like and neither one screams louder over the yeah. other it's not like oh my gosh i just got killed with heat or yeah. that's really sweet on that end it's you get little bits of everything in it and i, I actually remember this sauce because not well, i knew this year when i tasted it i think what it was but the year before i think it was in and i just went this is fantastic i'm pretty sure it was a finalist within the last couple of years of the competition. Mm -hmm. And I always wondered why it wasn't higher, you know, yeah. because it's so good. Yeah. It is so good. The heat creeps up on you in this one. Yes. It's, it's very... got a scorpion pepper. You know, that's yeah. not for wimps. But I think take another <laughs> taste of it. Yeah. And um, it's one of those ones where you think it's going to be in like a medium, maybe hot. Mm -hmm. But then the more you sit and wait, it really starts to... Yeah fill with heat i think it's right this is one of those complicated ones where the heat hits you differently like the pepper is a different pepper so i think it's right there with both like yeah. a hot yeah not extra hot not extra hot, but hot. hot yeah but two different ways this one you get the heat right away this one it slowly builds you know what i, I really love is this draw you had from the grab bag because it's they're all different types of sauces. Mm -hmm. You look at them and you're like, they look pretty similar in the pour. Yeah. But then you taste them. And that's one of the fun parts about blind judging in the competition is yeah. this you is what have you no get. idea what these these you would never guess that you're gonna get these three different or right. four different flavors. And that's that's up to you know, the judges really have to consider what would I use this on? Because to get a wing sauce and you're saying the mild division and it's a wing sauce. Or a buffalo sauce, you have to go. Oh, you have to recognize this is a buffalo shot sauce. Yeah. This would be very good in that area, yeah. and it's mild because there's such a diverse uh, taste uh, profile yeah. in each of the in each of the categories, the divisions. I think these two are a perfect example because if they were both entered in the hot division, they are such completely different yeah. flavors. Yeah. I mean, you're getting like that fruit and that savory and that. Um, or not the fruit, but like the citrus, you know, yeah. and the sweet and the spice. And that, and that, that's the cool thing about tasting hot sauce like is great. everybody has their own taste. Yeah. Um, their own favorites. And, you know, in the hot summer night event, we average 15 judges per sauce category. Yep. So that means that you got 15 different opinions coming together to raise one to the top. Mm-hmm. 
And that's what's the beautiful thing about our competitions. Blind, you don't you don't ever see what it is. The best sauces, no matter how new they are or how old they are, uh, rise to the top. So it's an international competition. Um, it's the biggest for charity in the world, and all of the all of the entry fees go to the cause, Old Boney Mountain Foundation for Kids. So if you're interested, check it out. January 1st, we'll open up uh, registration for Old Boney Mountain Hot Summer Night. Yeah, so follow our social media, Instagram, Facebook. Go to our website, oldboneymountain.org. If you want to keep up on the competition with the registration opening, if you want to learn more about Old Boney Mountain Foundation for Kids, that's where you go. Oldboneymountain.org. And if you want to watch these videos, it's at Hot Sauce Grotto channel. Yes. Hot Sauce Grotto channel. Please subscribe, check it out. Subscribe, like, hit the bell. Make sure you get every one of them that we do. Yep. Um, it doesn't cost you anything, and it helps the cost. Yep. So thanks, everybody. You guys have a great evening. evening. <laughs> See you guys next we'll time. We'll talk to you later.